Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Noe from Addis Ababa University. Today, I'm gonna show you how you can solve this problem. As you can see, here, this problem is the first problem from chapter three. It is uh, the kinematics, the kinetics part of dynamics. This is uh, the studies of motion with its case. As you know, dynamics has two parts: is kinematics and kinetics. Kinematics is the geometry of motion. We can study the motions of particles without the case of its motion. And in the kinetics part of dynamics, we will see the motions of the object with its case. The which is case is the force, which means force is the case of motion. It's it is important for stop the motion change direction or other things so the case of motion is for so we can study the case of motion uh, with it is motion with this case simply in this kinetics part for now we will see this problem simply before studying this problem if you are new for educational you should subscribe or to channel to access every engineering problem solution and the uh, different assignments that are very important in order to save your time or other things so let's jump into this problem and so show everything you can step on it it is uh, the 15 kilogram crater is projected along the floor is initial speed is 80 meter per second at x equals to 8 the coefficient of kinetic friction is already given 0.4 calculate the time required for the crater to come to rest and the corresponding distance x traveled so here we are given the uh, mass of the crate uh, the initial velocity of this crate is 8 meter per second in this direction and also at x equals 0 coefficient of kinetic friction is also given is 0 0.4 and the mass of the crate is given as you can see it is 15 kilogram per meter square and also the final velocity of this is 0 because finally it comes to rest then uh, we can uh, calculate the normal force uh, which is uh, very important in order to press this block in this direction and it is perpendicular to the block which is already cancelled by the weight of this block and due to the balance between normal force and weight there is no movement of the crate in upward or downward direction since the dimensions of force in the y direction is zero so we can uh, substitute the value of g is 9.8 is acceleration due to gravity on the surface so is acceleration of due to uh, gravity is varied from one surface to another surface after finding the normal force we can simply calculate the frictional force it is uh, cal calculate by using this formula frictional force equals to coefficient of friction times normal force times force of friction so 0 0.4 times mass times gravity this mass is the mass of the case is 15 kilogram and g is acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meter per second square after this you can substitute the value and simply you get 196 newton so frictional force equals to mass times acceleration since summation of force is, is equals to zero in the x direction in this direction you have mass times acceleration in this direction you have frictional force so the two forces are balanced so frictional force equals to mass times acceleration after this week it's acceleration simply frictional force over mass then 196 over 15 you can simply substitute the given value and you will get acceleration which is 3.92 meter per second square after this calculating the time and the distance it's very simple because we know acceleration we know the initial velocity the you know the final velocity calculating distance and time is very easy from your kinematics concept so the time required for the crate to come to rest is by using newton per newtonian first equation which is the equations of uniform motion and uniformly accelerated motion from uniformly accelerated motion the acceleration is also constant and the velocity changes constant rate then we can get velocity is equals to uh, v final minus 80 which means acceleration is equal to v final minus v initial uh, over time or we can get this formula from the integrations of um, uh, velocity with respect to time is acceleration by using this uh, z differentiation sorry we can by using this concept we can uh, solve this equation and substitute the given thing and we simply find the time which is 2.04 seconds so we can simply calculate uh, the time required for the crate to come to rest is 2.4 seconds then the corresponding distance x is traveled in newton equation distance equals to initial times time plus 1 over to 8 square all value are here given and we are calculating the upper procedures then we can substitute the given value and we will get the distance which is for um, 8.16 uh, meter uh, so we can simply calculate uh, this problem like it 